If I do die, I don't have to run back, do 50 million things, and come back to the game. So the difference between that and the stuff in the other games is, in the other games you excavate and you dig the fossils right then and there. Here they kind of wanted to make it a little bit more redundant, so you grab the fossils, then you go to your ship, then you dig them all up, and then you can wake them up. As you can tell, Rollin and Gina fight like an old couple. <laughs> Mystery Pod. Yeah, they call them Mystery Pods despite them actually just being a fossil. But you can get other stuff out of them. Sometimes you can get minerals. So when we get back to the uh, ship area, it's probably gonna... Yeah, we don't need that. I already explained earlier. When we get back, it's gonna spawn us into a battle, I believe, unless if that's only later on. I'm mainly going off memory. I haven't played this game in about eight-ish years. No, nope, I got it right. Alrighty, let's kill some guys. Let's get uh, Spike him out here. So, the thing with these guys uh, is that these guys don't really have an element, which does make it a little easier. So I just got another level up. So we're just going to run away a little bit. And it's get these here. So as you can tell, since I'm leveling up a little bit more than my Spectrodes, I am dealing a decent amount of damage compared to Spike Cam. The reason I have them fighting those is just so they all get a little bit of extra XP. Now. If I remember correctly, go. Yep, you can go excavate. So this is usually go. one of the better areas to look around for these blue minerals. Because Kotetsu, as we saw earlier, will build us different weapons. As long as we bring them the right materials. And I believe, if I'm going off Go. my memory correctly, you need about a hundred of these. Go. It's like twenty-five, hundred. Take money. Get it. So Go. I'm also gonna explain a bit about the multiplayer. Go. And the multiplayer, your teammate basically plays the spectrodes, while player one plays Rollin. What your teammate does, they get a little extra aimer. And as the child spectro, they can click it, and the child will go after it. As the during combat, what will happen is that the teammate plays as the fighter. Go. So what they can do is essentially just go and fight go. as those spectrums. However, there is one issue. They can't quite teleport. Yes. That was what I was hoping for. The more rice balls, the merrier. Go. You can never be out of them, and you can never have too many. Go. That was not on purpose. Also, those sounds are coming from the Wii remote here. Sorry. <laughs>
All right, time for some fun. Probably the hardest part about this game other than bosses. Let's get started. So it's gonna teach you to do a little tutorial. It's okay. It tells you how to use every single piece of the gear. You got your scanner, laser, drill, blower, bomb, and hammer. I'm just skipping through these because I actually do know how to use this. So basically what I'm going to do is do that. I'm going to click the laser. Fine, I'll scan the entire thing. Alright, you happy game? Generally, when you're doing this, you don't want to actually put them in the middle, unless if you're doing it. Fine, fine. Laser is probably the most dangerous out of all of these, mainly due to the fact that you can really do a lot of damage to the spectro that you're mining. There we go. Now let's go to the hammer. Hammer's the meanest one. You gotta shake the Wii remote. also kind of fun. So now it wants to show us damage. So as you damage the spectrobes, this is also why I hate the hammer because it can be very glitchy as you can see. Because I actually didn't shake my remote there for that moment. We're gonna do a little tiny shake. There we go. Chop off a chunk. I'm really hoping it lets me use laser and drill. It's gonna make it so redundant, but basically I blow up half of it with a bomb. And then I laser up the rest, hammer a little bit, and mostly I'm drilling. There we go, finally. Drill! Woo! So the drill, as long as you're careful and just slightly tapping it, you won't be able to hurt the spectro. But if I hold it like that, it's a very dangerous weapon. And the reason I'm just taking my time trying not to deal a lot of damage is the better the spectro that you excavate, the stronger it'll be. So if I finish this in a decent amount of time with a pretty good score, I'll have a decently strong spectro. Also, I can evolve them very quickly. There we go. Now you're allowed to blow the rest of the debris away. There we go. So usually when I'm doing these, if I'm just going through like 20 of them, I'll probably pause the video, skip ahead. And yeah, there you go. Now for the interesting part. When you go to wake up a Spectro, time to wave more remotes! <laughs> so after you excavate them, you can go to Excavate and Awaken. So this will be a Torga fossil. It's another fire type. I'll probably evolve it right away as it is a strong perspective out there. Ready for a band student to have fun. And then yeah, you can name them. I won't name them for now. But if you guys want me to name them, you let me know. You just let me know. I'll probably name some of them. Yeah, 
It's a car. Cool, eh? Now nah, we're good for now. I can change it later, as I said. If you guys have a good name, I'll do it right on the video for you so you can see. If you guys want me to go slower, let me know. It is a decently long tutorial. Once the tutorial ends, I'm gonna... Well, I like... I normally just go all spectrums, but... There's also a couple ways to get more slots for how many you can have. And so one way is just progressing through the game, finding some rooms. Then there's an extra way, which I will be doing. It's a very long and tedious process. Alright, now I'm going to go back here. I don't want to discard, nope. So I'm going to head back. It's going to want me to do stuff after I leave and I'm like, eh. Yeah, that's mostly all the mechanics of the game. So here's probably one of my uh, interesting ones. Essentially, you can access this one anywhere. It's just items, spectrums, enemies, whatever you need. Tells you weaknesses of bosses, tells you backstory of other characters. Also, they're talking about how the evolution system is a little different. It is, but it isn't. It's more similar to the second game, completely different from the first game. In the first game, you have to get a certain stat to a certain point, and you have to feed them a certain item. Then you have to have them in the incubator for a certain amount of time, and it's very tedious. Some spectrums you gotta have in the incubator for like three days, some seven, some two minutes. Uh, well, in the second game it was a certain amount of fights, a certain amount of this, a certain amount of that, done. Just like fights, XP, uh, level, and then a certain amount of minerals fed. Easy peasy. Yeah, we understand. Well, I understand. As I said, child, adult, evolve. Cave? What cave? What's not like I know of a cave? But I do. I do know of a cave. And that's where the boss is! Woo! Torga! Come here, little guy! Thing is, come on, you knew I'm never gonna evolve until I get a second one, because this is Rollins' original one. That he's actually never evolved. Yeah. He's kept that since the first game. Neat little story hint. Though I do have to name it eventually. So, now we can look at the lab menu, database, and save. What will we do? Of course, save. Yeah, we're gonna keep playing there. Now we can check with uh, Kotetsu down here. That is his name, right? Eh, never know. Come here, big old fella. My name is Kotetsu! Yeah, he's not gonna give us anything, sadly. Yet. You have to get through a certain part of the game. What's this going? 
Battle types? Nah, we don't care about those. Yeah, we want to leave the bridge. Basically, you're not allowed out. There's Crawl. Okay, we'll go kill him. But you're not allowed. The bridge is broken. Okay, we'll go kill the Crawl so you can go fix the bridge. Okay, great, guys. Go Louie. I already did the save. Yeah, very dramatic. Welcome to an area you will visit about 20 million times. Joking! Go. Not really. <laughs> Mini boss! I bet you anything, that's the one that took out that bridge. Mm, bigger than I would have guessed. Never goes slow. Hey, Rollin! What are you. What's the matter with you? What did I just say? Yeah. Rollins a very uh, hot head Can I not get hit? So we're gonna just try to get some. Yeah, ow, ow. Yeah, this is how simple this game's mechanics can be, and I love it. So here's the main issue. Like, some of them will be properly covered. Well, some of them, like, they'll look special. Yeah, it's very simple. So when my spike in starts getting... Oh, never mind, he's gonna get his level up. So now I'm gonna switch to my Mayorex. This game's a little glitchy for a reason. Yeah, simple mechanics, but nice and fun. But essentially this is just teaching you how to fight these guys. It does get, the voices do get a little redundant, but, you know, better than nothing. Battle clean. I can go tell the gatekeeper, or I can keep going and stuff. Good boy. So here's a good time to show this. These spawn enemies. If you can't tell, it's purple. And you know what I'm gonna do? Go. Be the bunny. <laughs> I'm just like, I want the XP! So, yeah, I'm basically attacking these guys because they are level 7. Now. 
nice and easy. And a good little bit of a workout for the levels. It's definitely worth it to fight almost as many enemies as you can. But then again, you also want to be careful because if you're not able to leave the area or you forget, you can really get messed up. Because those enemies, they don't care how glitchy they are. And that's why I'm trying to conserve the rice balls because you can only get them through excavation. Go. And if I fight, I can get more levels to be a little bit more prepared. But there's no um, way to actually do anything that I'd like, like popping enemies off the map. Damn. You don't get to kill me, I get to kill you. But yeah, easy XP. You don't actually get to keep anything, sadly. You just get to excavate and levels. But no items out of that. So yeah, there we go. Race ball. Uh, these will all be reset once we come back for the next chunk of area. Which is why I'm doing it now. Let's go. And that way, we can be safe. There we are. Aha! Got it. So yeah, I'm aiming for more and more spectrums if I can. So I'm actually going to swap spectrums here now, only due to the fact that Spike Norton needs a little bit of time. Essentially, like, there are easier ways to get levels. I just find this is to be the most, like, fun. There we go, and combat complete. I'm scanning this, and all the pixelated artwork here, it's just, I'm trying to go off by my eyesight very loosely. And yeah, he barks. Cute, eh? Go. And now we can get that. As you can see, so it goes like blue, green, yellow, red, orange, and all that, it's very simple, very intriguing. Morph combat! Woo. I'm gonna get myself beat up. Also, this is like the simplest way to fight everything. Take them on one by one. Sometimes you might have a better uh, spectrum for it. Oh, how did you... Oh, I actually don't know what I did there. There we go, that's how you do that. So that's an old control I forgot about. If you press up on the D-pad, which they don't tell you, you're able to lock on to a singular enemy without going to lock on mode. Helpful for fighting bosses. Go. Another mystery pod. So I'm actually now going to swap to my other little guy here. Just so he can get some of the experience from this. Go. Go. Ah, yes. Yellow. So these Go. are very insignificant at the beginning. But they're, they're helpful later on. Just... Collect as many minerals as you can. Ah, good job. So now we're gonna switch back to Marex, so you can get the uh, extra levels. Over there. 
and the reason I'm attacking so much is that I actually remember this boss having so much HP that I did have trouble. And it is a bit of a grind, but I like the grind. So, here's one of these doors. And look at that! Since we have a fire type, it won't open. Well, that backfired. Uh. Go. Really? Open it up, buddy! There we go! <laughs> I was actually kind of confused. I'm wondering, what am I doing? Like, I remembered it having to be the same element. But also, this is going to show you guys how to get a different weapon. So if you have your fire type spectro, which is either a Kamainu or a Toga, you can come here, click A, and get a pedestal. However, you gotta wait till a certain planet to get this weapon. Specifically, planet 3. So don't let me forget about this when I get the ability to do it. Because I guarantee you all, I will forget, regrettably. Go. Yes. Go. There we go, got a new... So we got a couple new spectrums. Could go in for one more fight, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to head back. We'll get some more spectrums later on. But for now, I believe it's time we actually head back to the ship, talk with the guys, get some new specs. Let's go. There we go. Ah, that's what I was waiting for. Level up. So yeah, it's easier to level up the child spectrums before you bring them up to their proper strength. Here we are. So yeah, as she said, uh, her mom will give you new spectro rice balls, whatever they're actually made out of, to make sure you're always having a little bit. So as I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to her. Yeah, hard to smile when you have an idiot you're walking with. So as he says, they require a special key to open up those pockets. If you don't have them, well, you'll get the key later on as I believe it's the third planet, also known as my favorite planet, the Ice Planet. That was my absolute most favorite planet to play on, just due to the fact it's gorgeous! So now we're gonna go talk to Kotetsu, he'll give us some stuff, and we'll have a great dandy old time! Do -do -do. Sadly, unlike in other games, you can't just jump around everywhere. If I could, you you might get annoyed with me doing it. So he wants us to go to the excavation zone and go find his apprentice. So there are side quests throughout the game. They aren't necessarily side quests, but there's things you can do. Like, there could be more, but there isn't. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna excavate.
Just due to the fact I do want to hope I get a new Spectrum. Because the more the merrier, right? Ooh. So we're gonna do another scheme. Actually, we're gonna use some bombs. Boink. And one more. Boink. So now we're gonna use this. The drill can be a very dangerous weapon when excavating, so I do suggest you have a steady hand to use it. If not, yeah, it might just be better if you just don't. <laughs> not that I want to sound like a jerk, but really you shouldn't, um, you, like, don't use the drill if you think you're going to mess up. It might just be better to go stick with the hammer. So we're gonna just do a little bit of that. So as you can see, when I'm allowed to do what I want, besides what the tutorial is asking me, I'm very effective. I didn't even need to use the uh, drill once. And I even got 100%. Bam. That's how you play this game, guys. So, next one. I actually really enjoy the excavation part of this game. And if your Wii still connects to internet, you can actually look at all the uh, old scores. So this is um, the best one. Pair of shoes. I'm not an idiot. There we go. He's gonna make sure where would be another spot right here, just so we're not doing things. So now we scan laser. Yeah, if you find a spectrum that's redundant and you just want the, like, excavation XP, just shoot the laser into the middle of it. You'll be fine. Not really, you'll actually destroy the spectrum fossil. Causing like genocide of said spectrum. But... Uh, it's just something to do. I would rather mine them all, get the rewards for some of them, than I would have them destroyed. Because destroying's not fun. Destroying your enemies is fun. So as you saw there, I accidentally hurt the Spectro. There we go. Lower. So I forget what Spectro this is. So if you get an A rank, it becomes your character's level. I think those are the shoes. Yeah, so new spectro, new spectro, new spectro. Nice and easy. Oh, we got a Pinska. We're spiking. There we go. And now for the heal. Actually, yeah. Uh, drill. Very rounded spectro. Essentially, this is going to be the child form of the guy we currently got, which is a spike camp. And as I said, he's just one of my favorite spectros. He's adorable, cute, and the quote unquote Pokédex and Shreveport is absolutely amazing. Basically it's a stumble bun. So 
So yeah, that's why I like using the drill, but honestly the hammer can be very good. As long as you're careful, like what I'm attempting to be. So yeah, you can do little precision hits like that. And yeah, that's how hard I'm hitting this. Some spectrodes are very tricky to actually mine. But, as such, not all gotta be tricky. This guy is just a curled up ball of fluff. There we go. Two minutes. Not too time consuming, but a little bit. Keeps you entertained for at least half hour. But after this, I'm gonna head off, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. La 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 la. Oh, it's the turtle guy. Eh, I might evolve him later. So this is Zenny. So we'll keep his name. I'll let the uh, names come up with you guys. Tobasu. So I believe this is the pair of runners. Oh, my life. And yes, I am shaking my hand very violently. Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Oh, they're adorable. So, I'm actually not the greatest at fighting with each Spectro, but I have my set of guys I love, and I have my set of guys I hate. Absolutely adore. There we go. So, despite how its fur looks, apparently it's like a pillow. Yeah, I'll use that name for now. So I'm just going to go to Spectrobes. I'll remove some of my Spectrobes here just to show you guys. So he can evolve, he can evolve, he can evolve, he can evolve. How can I tell? Look at the little shiny stars. So if you notice now, we got a water, earth, and a grass. Meaning, I'm going to take my Inu out, and I'm going to put these guys in. So we saw at the beginning there was that earth area. Now when I add plant. Can I do anything for battle? Not really, but you know. But yeah, I'll show you this menu I'll be using most of the time. So you click search, click battle. It's just faster. Nothing to really do with the game and the mechanics other than you click that, you can just go back and forth faster than before. And when I can, I'll probably evolve the, um, Tsubasu. But, let me just show you. Let me show you my shoes. Look at it! Good job. Good boy. Aren't they adorable? Well, have a good night, everyone. I'm gonna save. And see you all later.